If you bought a Porsche anywhere between 2005 and 2020, you may be eligible for a payout. Porsche has just been ordered in the United States to pay owners millions of dollars thanks to, well, yet another Volkswagen Group scandal. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Thanks for tuning in, guys. And welcome back, everyone else. Now, thank you for becoming a member of the channel. Lots of you have become members recently. I'll put a link in the description below to our membership page on YouTube. If you become a member, it basically supports us, the channel, it helps us to make more videos. And also, it gives you the access to watch some of our videos a couple of days in advance. A US judge on Wednesday granted final approval to a class action settlement worth around 100 million US dollars to resolve claims Volkswagen Group and its Porsche unit, in particular, this is just for Porsche vehicles, by the way, skewed emissions and fuel economy data for 15 years on 500,000 Porsche vehicles sold in the US. I'm going to guess that these same issues would apply to every Porsche vehicle sold in Australia, New Zealand, Canada, Mexico, Europe, wherever Porsche is sold, the same thing would have been done. Europe, of course, Germany as well. I'm sure the Germans don't want to know about it though. But anyhow, the settlement first reported by Reuters covers 2005 through to 2020 model year Porsches. Owners accused the automaker of physically altering test vehicles that affected both emissions and fuel economy. I've been saying this on the channel for a long time. The claimed fuel economy of your car is a joke. Now, the only real way to know the fuel economy of your car is to test it yourself. That doesn't mean looking at the digital readout, which is nonsense. Often it will say, your car is averaging 10.5 liters per 100 kilometers or whatever you guys do, whatever you guys say it is in the US. So, you know, you get my point, right? And then you think, this is weird. Why did my car um, go down? So why, did the fuel, why did the fuel gauge go down so fast? This is one of the key reasons. They alter the gauges to make you think you're getting a certain level of economy that you're not really getting. Now, US District Judge Charles Breyer also approved $25 million in attorney's fees and costs. $25 million in attorney's fees and costs. Whoever these attorneys are, these dudes are doing pretty damn well for themselves. Owners of eligible vehicles will receive payments of between $250 and $1,109 US dollars per vehicle. I think that's a, an incredibly ridiculous sum. I can't believe that they actually agreed to that. To me, it should be a minimum of $5,000 per vehicle. Uh, anyhow, this is what's been agreed to. Now, let me know, what do you think? Do you think that's a fair figure? Does, is that a fair number for doing this to a vehicle? You buy a car and it's not what you thought it was in a pretty serious way. Uh, I don't know. Porsche said on Wednesday that it has been working to develop a solution and to ensure customers are appropriately compensated. So, in other words, Porsche is spending money, both giving money to people who bought their cars paying lawyers fees and on actually fixing these cars. And the interesting thing is Porsche stock price hasn't been affected at all. I'm curious as to why that was. So I was thinking, let's have a look. I looked at their stock price. You guys know they had a, an IPO recently, which valued the company as being worth more than Volkswagen because now Volkswagen themselves are not worth as much thanks to Porsche leaving the group and having this IPO. So Porsche stock price has gone up significantly over the last few months. And I was thinking, why? You know what? The media are not even reporting on this. They're just like, zip, keep it shut, keep it quiet. So if you guys want to know the real news, what's really going on, this is really, watch this channel. Porsche doesn't pay me a cent. Volkswagen don't buy me cars. Uh, Tesla don't buy me cars. BYD don't buy me cars. I pay my own money for cars. I don't take any kind of sponsorship. I've been sent probably 500 emails saying, please, will you review our product? We'll give you 500 bucks. Will you, will you, will you do this? Will you do that? Will you, we'll give you this. We'll give you that. We'll give you a free battery for your house. We'll give you this. And I'm like, no, nah, I'm not doing any of that. It's all, it's all bogus. You know why? Because I am not bought. No one pays for me. No one pays for my opinions. No one pays for my reviews. And you can't say the same thing about when you see these websites or these YouTube channels, and they're like, oh, check out this new electric bike. Hmm. When that's not their primary product, right? Or they're like, check out this new charger. Yeah. Guess what? They just got given one. So do you think that's going to be a legit review for that product? No. Now, you probably know some of the places and the sites that I'm referring to. I won't name them now, but if you send me an email, 
if I have time, I have, to have a lot of emails, but if I have time, I'll respond to you by giving you some examples of people and companies, uh, websites, channels, which are clearly taking bribes to write things. Now the media, the same deal, right? If they wanted to, they can make a big song and dance out of this, but they're saying nothing. Instead, they're focused on nonsense like Tesla and Twitter, how that's related. Elon Musk, Twitter, I mean, there's a, a new article on that every five minutes and I'm, I'm sick to death of it, it's ridiculous. Porsche said, we are committed to providing our customers with transparent fuel economy and emissions data. And the agreement ensures that customers are fairly reimbursed for any fuel economy changes. Seriously, you think $250 or up to a thousand is a fair reimbursement if you've owned the car for 15 years? That's ridiculous. That is a joke. And the fact that they're saying now they're committed to providing their customers with transparent fuel economy and emissions data makes me seriously question what? The ethics of this company. I'm sorry, but if you buy a Porsche, you're buying a product from a company that is ethically bankrupt. They didn't just fix and knowingly fix the emissions data. They also did it to the fuel economy. They lied on multiple fronts. If you think this company, which is clearly rotten inside, is going to change its ways and have a change of heart, it's like saying, you know what, that dude, he beats his wife, but I'm sure his next wife, he won't beat her. Right, really? You, you believe that? Seriously? I mean, look at that guy. He murdered someone. He's murdered a few people now. Oh, he's murdered three. Yeah, don't worry. He won't murder again. Just just let him let him come out of jail. You really think there's not a good chance that dude's going to murder again? I mean, this is the kind of thing. I don't understand why people wouldn't say, hmm, it's time for me to learn my lesson. If they lied about this, what else are they going to lie about? No, that's just my take, though. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As many of you are well aware, scrutiny of Volkswagen's vehicles grew after the German automaker in 2015 disclosed it had used sophisticated software to evade emissions requirements in nearly 11 million diesel vehicles worldwide. And this does get me to thinking, if they had sophisticated software to manipulate the data for their gasoline powered cars, what are they doing in their EVs that we don't know about? Maybe nothing, possibly. But then again, back in 2005, when people bought a Porsche, would they have thought that Porsche was doing what they were doing? I guarantee you no one would have. I guarantee if you got up to a Porsche owner and said, oh, I suspect that Porsche are intentionally doing blah, 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 they'd say, no, no way. There's no way they wouldn't do that. So my key question is, are they not doing, taking shortcuts of in some measure on their electric cars? Are we to trust them? Don't know. Once a liar, always a liar, or once a liar, not gonna lie again. Now the thing is, this wasn't just Porsche, clearly. This was the Volkswagen Automotive Group. They did it to all of their vehicles. Volkswagen settled US criminal and civil actions prompted by the cheating scandal for more than 20 billion US dollars. That's just in the US alone. The automaker pleaded guilty in 2017 to fraud, obstruction of justice, and falsifying statements. Yeah, under the settlement, owners of Porsches Vehicles with Sport Plus driving mode that exceeded emissions limits when driven will get an additional $250 when they complete emissions repair software updates that will reduce vehicle emissions. And you know what else they'll do? Decrease the power. So yeah, you're getting a car that had the power it said it did, but it shouldn't have because it shouldn't have been producing those emissions. So now if you take your car and Volkswagen or Porsche, whoever's doing, I don't know, fix it. What are they going to do? They're going to add an emissions device which will decrease the power of your car. Now, I think you should get it fixed because I prefer not to breathe in all the crap coming out of your exhaust your exhaust pipes. But still, that's got to be pretty annoying because your product won't be what Porsche said it was when you bought it. Lawyers for owners have said that as of the 11th of October, nearly 110,000 claims have been submitted covering about 100,000 vehicles and that 13,773 owners have already brought in their vehicles for updates but they didn't specify whether or not those updates meant that those cars had been fixed. I have no idea. So what are your thoughts on this, guys? Let me know what you think. Of course, for me, the key issue here is trust. I feel like Porsche, Volkswagen Group, broke my trust personally. I never plan on buying a vehicle from them, period. I know a lot of people are like, no, 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 don't worry about it. It doesn't matter, who cares? You know, they went and uh, did all this dishonest stuff and then they tried to hide it and then they argued about it and they didn't accept responsibility. But you know what? That's just what everyone does. So what? Who cares? I don't agree. I think 
if I have a choice, why spend my money with a company that does that? And frankly, that's why I'm not planning to do so. I don't have to. No one's forcing me to do. And there's other good options on the market. Now, let me know if you're considering buying a Volkswagen car or a Volkswagen electric car. If you are and you disagree with me, that's totally fine. But let me know why you disagree in the comments section below. And as always, my friends, have a great day.